it's John Alexander here and we're inside Word Tracker's main menu area. Today we want to just have a little quick look at this function called Full Search. Now we've spent a lot of time um, talking about many of the other aspects of Word Tracker but this is something that not too many people are using right now and you really do need to have a look at it. We click on this little link Full Search and it takes you to a window where you can enter any kind of a word or a term. What this is going to do is give you a hint at how powerful uh, artificial intelligence is in the search engines right now. More and more you want to use words that are surrounding words that are recognized by the engine as being meaningful and relating to your keyword phrase. Let me show you an example. I'm going to put in the word propane. Remember there's there's no human intervention here when we enter this word. This is going to return results based on what a search engine knows about the topic of propane. Uh, I'm choosing things that I know a little bit about, a little bit of background about, so that I can talk about whatever we see come up in the results. As we scroll down and look at what we get. Obviously, propane, gas, energy, tank, fuel, grill, these terms are all um, easy to understand, right? We know we, we can see how propane and gas all go together. But as we scroll down and look, we see things like heat. And then we begin to see acronyms. This is actually LP is liquefied petroleum gas. We see the word petroleum. LPG is short for liquid petroleum gas. Um, we see safety. Look at some of the terminology in here. Furnace, butane is another type of gas, right? And this is returning words, important words, based on what a search engine knows about a specific keyword. Now you want to try this for your specific um, topic of interest, what you're working on for your website, and begin to use some of these words. If you can use them to add or contribute to the article in an intelligent manner, this can help you immensely. I'm not going to go in all of the details, but you can see how we're, as we get down here, of course, we're getting into cooking grill and gas lighting and all kinds of things. And this is based on what a search engine understands, if you can use that term, understands. Artificial intelligence is what we're talking about here. Let's go back. I'm going to go back and I'm going to type in a different type of word. I'm going to type in a personality, um, a famous person, you may never have heard of him, but I'm going to type in Johnny Eck. Johnny Eck, I wrote an article about him one time, um, quite some time ago, they're making a, um, thinking about making a movie of his life story. Johnny had the um, uh, unusual situation of being born with no lower extremity below his rib cage. He's the uh, only man who ever walked up the Empire State Building on his hands because he, he didn't have any feet. He, he literally walked about on his hands. So this is, and you can put any kind of a, um, a subject matter you want in this box. Click proceed and see what kind of results come up. See what the search engine knows about a specific topic. Johnny was, um, uh, Johnny Eck appeared in um, some uh, movies that were made back in the 30s. Um, let's go through this list and see what happens here. We immediately see Johnny Eck's name related to movies, reviews, DVD. Um, Todd Browning is the name of the director who directed a movie called Freaks. There you see the, the title of the... It obviously knows Johnny Eck is connected with this movie and, and it knows the name of the director. This was actually... Uh, a tragic ending to uh, Todd Browning's career. It ruined him because of the nature of the movie was so unusual. Um, the movie was banned. It really didn't become popular until the 60s again. Johnny Eck was um, often in sideshows, in, involved in magic acts. Um, a very interesting uh, life story. He lived to be an old man, I believe. Um, uh, he passed away in 1991. But look at some of these terms and what it knows about um, the life of Johnny Eck. Some of these other names that you see in here are people that also played in the movie. They didn't really, um, 
they weren't very politically correct in terms of naming the actors because the actors really didn't have any names. They were actually uh, people who had been in sideshows, and um, it was quite a. It was made as a horror film, but it was quite an unusual movie. Uh, as we go down here, look at some of these terms. The search engines know relate to. There's Browning's name again. Daisy Earls was a. Um, uh, I believe a, a dwarf or a midget who also played in that movie. Um, Maureen O, I'm guessing, is Marina Sullivan, uh, who played Jane in the Tarzan series of films. And the reason that Johnny Eck, Johnny Eck's name would be connected with that is because they used Johnny in a scene in a, two or three Tarzan pictures where he got inside of a, a funny little. Um, a kind of a rubber bird suit and was running around on his hands. Of course, he was only a very small little fellow, so it made a very unusual special effect. But uh, you'll see, if you didn't know all of that trivia, you wouldn't know how it relates. But look, at there's the word Tarzan. There's Johnny Weissmuller. Okay, that's his. He was in uh, several of Weissmuller's films. And the search engines know all of this stuff. Now, isn't this fascinating? What am I getting at? When I look at all of these terms, I'm suggesting you go back and try Word Tracker full search. Next time you're you're in Word Tracker's member area, begin to look at your product names, your service names, and try putting in single terms and see what other important words are related to that term based on what a search engine knows. Now if you don't think that this is important, I'll give you a little hint, okay? We'll go back over to Google and just I'm on google.ca, but it's in google.com as well. Just look right up here at the top. You see this little item up here, personalized home. As more and more search engines are going to become um personalized so that everybody can choose different settings and have the the rankings and the results come up in different manners, you're going to find in the future that SEO itself will change, and uh, a lot of a lot of what you're going to need to know about is based on latent semantic indexing, and we're going to be giving you some some more tips, some some advice, and by all means, uh, try out this full search feature inside Word Tracker in the members area, because you're going to the better that you write your content, the better you write your content using synonyms and terms that are of high value based on what a search engine knows the better your chances are going to be to be found in the future okay this is john alexander for searchengineworkshops.com we'll talk to you again real soon bye for now